Hey guys, it's Mastrath here, and welcome to more Global Trophy Action 2021. Yep, last week we had the European qualification segment, and it's time for our second um, qualifier uh, quarter, I suppose you could say. This time for Asia. Yes, now, uh, four weeks ago we did the uh, Asian uh, preliminary leagues uh, with, well, heartbreak for the dead team, uh, but some really interesting teams going through. Yeah, the, the usual suspects of Tajikistan and, um, in the end, Afghanistan doing very well, but obviously Afghanistan fell off towards the end. It'd be interesting to see if they can pick up their form again now that we're in the main competition. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Well, uh, Sam, have you got the uh, the lovely sheet open? I do, actually. Have so have got some, uh, some history for the Asia uh, Oceania qualifiers? Yep, so obviously... As of 2016, um, the Asia section was combined with the Oceana section. There used to be two separate uh, competitions where four used to go through from Oceana and eight went through from Asia. However, since then it was decided because of the fact that Australia was so dominant and they needed a challenge to get through, uh, they had to qualify through Asia as well as with the rest of the Oceana teams, New Zealand and so on. Since yeah. then, they have won the Asia section three times back to back. Um, they did actually not qualify for the Global Trophy for the first time back in 2019. Yes, I believe it was Jordan that knocked him out, I think. It I was a 1-0 win. Mm. Um, as things stand, though, uh, they are currently the second most successful Asian team in terms of their local qualifiers. Uh, who do you think the most successful is, Chris? Ooh, let me have a look through the names. Is it Saudi Arabia? Yes, it is. Saudi Arabia have won four times um, in 2006, 12, 14, and 15. Australia, of course, winning 16, 17, and 18 back-to-back. -back. Uh, they've won three. Uh, Iran have also won three in uh, 2005, 2013, and uh, the current holders, actually, the incumbent winners in 2020. China also winning three times in 2009, 11, and 19. And we have a th a three... Uh, One-time winners in the form of Japan in 2008, Malaysia in 2010, and uh, a bit of an outlier, Indonesia back in 2007. Yes. Um, Indonesia, jeez. Yeah, it's a bit, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's a bit of a wild one for them to be that yeah, highly rated now, right? They're not even in this global trophy. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Well... Uh, with that, folks, you pretty much know everything you need to know about the uh, about the uh, Asian qualifiers at this point. So, should we get right into this one? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. Okay, so we're going to be kicking off with the dud team. We were really <sighs> rooting for them this year. We really were, but unfortunately, the dud team is Fiji. It is Fiji. Um... They are one of three Oceana teams in this competition, but they are the only ones that will not be actually able to qualify, unfortunately, for them. Um, yep, the other two they, they, they give a valid Australia definite, and New Zealand, um, yeah. who yeah. Uh, we'll be seeing later, because they automatically qualified. They did, yes. But a valiant effort nonetheless from Fiji. It's a shame we'll get to see them more. Yep. Next up, we have Scraping Through Myanmar. Yeah, they, they, they kind of did it by the skin of their teeth, and if... Fiji had won that last game, they would have qualified, but they weren't to know, and obviously Myanmar just about scraping through. Yeah, next up, um, a team that you didn't really think could make it through, but they they powered through right in, like, I'd say like the last third of the fixtures uh, to solidify sixth place in the preliminary league. It's Yemen. They hit form, didn't they? Really hit form right at the end, and right when they fair enough it. to do that. Yeah, and they did the they did the, a good job, didn't they? And they fair play to them for doing it. Yep. Uh, fifth is New Caledonia, being represented once again by the Dominican Republic. They did okay, didn't they? I didn't fifth really place, expect them. Not too bad. Yeah, I didn't expect them to do as well as they did, but they they really did a good job, Dominican Republic, in place of New Caledonia, and uh, I'm intrigued to see how they get on in this competition. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting for them. Uh, next up. The first of the many stands, well, technically, if you count Kurz Republic as one, which I still kind of do on this game, five of them are in this. Yeah. Uh, the lowest ranking one, still certainly not a pushover, Turkmenistan. 
they started slowly, didn't they? And they've really picked up form in those preliminaries. So let's see. I mean, you know, bigger surprises have happened before. Yep. And now uh, a team that had a complete opposite of form when it comes to the preliminary league, mm. Afghanistan. Yeah, things started to come off the rails towards the end. I think the group ended at just the right time for Afghanistan. Um, no, a pushover, but yeah, they need to pick up their form quite quickly. Yeah, um, so they went on, uh, for people who haven't watched the uh, preliminaries yet, why haven't you? Um, go watch it now and then come back. Yeah. We'll see you in about an hour and a half. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, Afghanistan went on a 12 match winning run. They didn't lose a single point, and then they went on to not win their last three, losing two and drawing one. Yeah, um, at the same time, I mean, the 12 match winning streak was very good, but as you say, they really fell off towards the end and only finished third overall, yeah. which was a bit of a surprise. Exactly, yeah, and that allowed that allowed uh, Philippines to sneak in to take second place. They're the next team in this. If I was to choose a team that I think will actually qualify for the finals, this would be it for me. You'd, you'd, bank, you'd bank on Philippines on that one. In, well, uh, I would, on yeah. Honest, no, yeah, I can see what you mean. They, they've been a pretty consistent team. They've done it before. So far. So, I don't know how many times Tajikistan have done it in the past. Uh, they, they actually ended up uh, winning the, uh, the preliminaries. But I think the Philippines have qualified fairly recently as well. So, we'll see. I believe so, yes. Uh, next up, we have the winners of the preliminary league for this year, Tajikistan. Yeah, they did really well. Went unbeaten, won all of their games. Can't really ask for more than that, can you? Exactly. Only let in three goals as well. Yeah, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Okay, so now we get to the teams that automatically qualify via the FIFA rankings. First up, scraping through. They've got to be wary for next year if their team keeps doing bad. New Zealand representing Oceania. I will say, though, um, if you haven't seen... New Zealand's um, football strips are really nice. Um, yeah, there's a lot of football teams. It wasn't there like on uh, Nigeria a couple of years back. Adam. Yeah, really lovely um, football strip. It was really nice. But um, so New Zealand's actually the, the strip that I use on FIFA, <laughs> the home and away. Fair enough. Yeah. Next up, it's the first of the careers, the least popular one and the least successful one in this tournament. Um, North Korea. Fun fact. Sorry to anyone from North Korea, but, you know... You're not watching this if you're from North Korea. That's but, um, true, yeah. As YouTube, I'm guessing he's banned YouTube, any or something like that. Well, it's it's strange because Kim Jong-un is really good friends with Dennis Rodman from the uh, Chicago Bulls. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Yeah. He, so, it's really weird, but... I mean, he... Uh, oh, sorry, Dennis Rodman, formerly of the uh, Chicago Bulls. He doesn't play for them anymore. But, yeah, there you go. <laughs> what are you doing bringing different sports into this? Hey, look, I'm, I'm a, a, a mountain of trivia, you know? Can't wait till we get to the America's one. Actually, no, no, never mind. We, you already did that for the Europe ones. I've been there. <laughs> I haven't been to many places in America, actually. I think I've only been to the US. But yeah. still, though, the, the ones for Europe, it's it's essentially, it goes from being... Up in there. It's, it goes from being facts to being an Uncle Albert journey from when he falls Norses. I've been there. Yeah. Up in there. Yeah. And next up, we have India going down the rankings quite a lot, actually, I've noticed. Yeah, I think a very, it surprises me that there's no real breakout Indian football stars, considering the size of the country and, like, the amount of people that live there, because they have at least, like, a tenth of the world's population, if more than a tenth of the world's population are from India. Yeah. So you'd have thought that that have spawned some good footballers, but apparently not. Yeah, well, one most subscribed YouTuber on YouTube, zero, like, bugger all when it comes to football, India. Yeah, very true. Next up, it is Palestine. Yeah, Palestine. Um, not a team that generally do particularly well, but certainly not a pushover. Yes, and next up, probably Sam's favorite. Uh, Asian country, just because he has a lot of facts about this one. I wonder why. It's Bahrain. They've got two Grand Prix this year. Oh or, no! More guess. Grand Prix. <laughs> they've got two. They've got um, they've got the the Bahrain Grand Prix as as this traditional, and then they also have the Sakia Grand Prix, which is the same track but it's a different layout. It's really cool. Wow. So the second, I, the... <laughs> 
Well, okay. When does when was that brought in? Was that brought in this season? Yeah, because because of uh, COVID, they had to cancel half the races this season. So <laughs> some tracks. Silverstone, but boy. Well, no, Silverstone was there twice. Why? Because oh, because they couldn't to travel to around England the world twice. It was really good because so what they did it was clever. So the first weekend they chose certain tires, and then the next weekend they chose a compound softer, so it was harder. So they had to basically had to pit more times. It was really good. Yeah. Oh, so essentially, it's like F1 manager. Bloody hell, that game gets. Well, they, they they had to do something because obviously COVID. You couldn't go to a lot of places in the world. Like look at America. America was in pieces at the time, so they couldn't go to America or South America or what have you. So they had to kind of make a season on the fly, and it ended up being really good. Actually, we've been to some really cool tracks this year. Fair enough. Can't yeah. wait for. Why didn't they just go to the Nurburgring and do one? They did. They did. did they? Not on the, the actual life, uh... Nurburgring. No, on the Grand Prix circuit. They'd be like, this is the closest we're going to get F1 NASCAR. <laughs> Basically. That's pretty much. Anyway, uh, next up, we have the Australia Destroyers from a couple of years ago. Jordan. Yeah, of all teams to do it as well. Like, since then, Australia haven't actually won the Asia section qualifiers, but... It was the first time that they'd ever been beaten in qualification, Australia, and it was Jordan of all teams to do it. I don't it's think they even qualified for the finals that year either, did they? Exactly, yeah. Um, it's nice, though, that we finally have a fact, uh, a relevant fact, about Jordan for these global trophies that doesn't involve Katie Price. This is true, yes. <laughs> next up, the next of the stands, well, form formerly of the stands, do not stand to them anymore if you are a stan. It's formerly known as Kazakhstan, now it's the Kyrgyz Republic. Jesus Christ, you're missing some bloody vowels! Did you choose the right nation? Because you chose Kazakhstan, not Kyrgyzstan. Oh. <laughs> it Actually, Kazakhstan didn't even make it, so, so there you go. Oh, we couldn't make any Borat 2 jokes, come on. No. Damn it. No uh, Borat 2. No Borat 2, but Kyrgyzstan, I, yeah, they do need some vowels in their name, don't they? Well, let's put it this way. So, you take Stan off, and it's that followed by Republic. Well, technically, Jeez. technically, nah. You see, the thing is, right? Technically, Y yeah, is also y a vowel. Why makes it a vowel? It's like, exactly. No, there are five vowels. No, there's six. Well, five and a half. Let's say that. No, no, there's no halves. Okay, no, then how many? No, it's just, it's just so people can say, <laughs> uh, well, technically, the word rhythm actually has a vowel in it. <laughs> it's like, how boring do you have to be? To have that be your trigger. You know, I was going to say uh, rhythm as well. That's really bad. <laughs> we'll move on. We'll move on. Let's enjoy it, man. Next uh, up, it is... Um, okay, we, it's Vietnam. Vietnam actually did really well a couple of years ago, I believe. I think they made the top eight. Yeah, I um, think it was 2019, I think. Yeah. It was either 18 or 19. I don't, it didn't last year, obviously, but... Um, I, th I want to say it was 19 they did. Hmm. But yeah, Vietnam, so former Global Trophy finalists. They did make it yep. to the Global Trophy finals pretty recently. Not last year, but I believe it was the year before. Yep. Next up, it is the Christmas tree country. Lebanon. They got it on their flag. I love it. They Lebanon. have got it on their flag. Yeah, it's a nice, nice little flag Lebanon have got going on. Doesn't matter anyway, because Christmas has been is going to be cancelled, apparently. So. Yep, thanks, Boris. <laughs> Thanks, Bozza. Great job. Uh, next up, the highest ranking of the stands, Uzbekistan. Yeah, I don't really know much about Uzbekistan. Um, I can't the highest lie ranking to you. stand, that's all you need to know. There you go. Perfect. Next up, it's Yemen's best friend, Oman. Oman, yeah. Um, I think they've also... Fairly recently qualified for the finals. I don't know exactly when it was, but it, it was in the, it's certainly since we've been putting them onto YouTube, I think. Oh, so, yeah, certainly. I, I seem to remember Oman in the finals at some point, yeah. Yeah, so watch that, out for them. They're not, not an easy team to beat. Yeah, that alongside, I'm fairly certain I remember Syria being there as well at some point. I couldn't tell you. I, 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 possibly. There's every chance, isn't there? I think they have. Anyway, next up, former three time Asian uh, section winners. China. Surprises me that China didn't make it through last year. They are one of the better teams in Asia, as we've said. They've won it three times. They even won it when Australia came over. So, 
they're no slouches. Yep, and I think they just got really unlucky last time. I think they may have got a tough match. I think yeah, I I say think it, it was might have been Australia again. I can't remember. It, it was someone really good. So, yeah. And yeah, I we'll think see. they got knocked out in round two, I think, last year. I think it was something like that. Yeah. Next up, it is Iraq. Again, solid team. Don't underestimate Iraq. Indeed. They're, I said they're, they're, they're a pretty decent team. They're always dark horses here. You know, they've got a chance of making it through. A lot more chance than a lot of other teams. But they're not a team that you'd usually think of. As, no, you know, but... sort of con uh, as consistent uh, Asian Oceanic section uh, qualifiers. Yeah, exactly. Next up, oh, I wonder why their FIFA ranking is so high. It's Qatar. Well, yeah, so obviously they're still, well, as you know, COVID notwithstanding, they are still hosting the 2022 World Cup. God help us. Um, this is coming from an atheist, but God help us. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's ropes. Next up, um, well, it's it's one of my personal favourites on ice. No, this team has gotten so close to actually winning the global trophy. Nearly becoming the first Asian team to do it. But they've got they got they got close two years in a row. It's South Korea. Former runners up of the overall global trophy. Would you say, in that case, because they've obviously made it the furthest out of any Asian team? Are they the best Asian team? Because they've never won the their home section before, have they? Yeah, I wouldn't say so. I'd I'd still give it to to like Saudi Arabia or Australia uh, or Iran on that one, you know. Okay. Um, but South Korea not only did so. First off, they finished. I think it was third. Uh, yeah, and then year, next year they the finished year second. After they finished second. Yeah, they sec I think they finished second to Spain. So that was five years ago now. Um, yeah. And of course, in, in real life these days, they've got, you know, incredible world cast class talents like uh, Hyung Min Son. Like, what a, big, he's a phenomenal footballer, isn't he? Mm, yeah, he definitely he's is. He's so good. Uh, next up, now, these are the top eight teams, the eight teams that qualified for the Global Trophy Finals last year. First off, why am I looking at the fact that Qatar is right above Saudi Arabia, depending on what both countries are like? Mm. Yeah, uh, questionable, uh, maybe. Awkward. But Saudi Arabia are... Actually, current rank number four overall, um, due to their high placing last season, they ended up getting past Germany, would you believe, <laughs> to get to the semi-finals of the Global Trophy, only to lose out to eventual runners at France. Yeah, it was, it was a good run for Saudi Arabia last year. Very good run. Yari, very good run. Next up, it is Kuwait. They did quite well last year, didn't they? they I think they had to pre-qualify, I want to say, last time around. I don't remember exactly, but... I believe they, they did, did well. yeah. Yeah. Japan is next. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, uh, Japan. Um, 13 years since they won the Asia section. Um, one of the stronger teams in Asia for sure, but it's been a long time since they won that competition, isn't it? Yeah, uh, good mainstays in the uh, Global Trophy Finals, um, but yeah, haven't won it in over a decade. I haven't won the uh, Asian section in over a decade. Yep. Next up, former champions, Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia. Um, of course, winning back in 2010, so 11 years ago now, um, since they won the Asia section. And always a solid team as well. I think they pre-qualified last year as well, and they did really... And it kind of surprised me that they had to, but they did, obviously, and they're still here. Exactly. Next up, we're getting to... Um, well, we're getting to Australia. Uh, the most appearances out of any team in the Global Trophy Finals. But then again, 12 of those were in Oceania, so it was a given. This is true, but at the end of the, end of the day, they still had to beat who was in front of them. Um, they are overall ranked number 12 in all of the Global Trophy. Um, it's like throughout history, due to those huge amount of wins. So they, they actually are, on paper, the, the highest ranked Asian team. Yep, and next up we have Thailand. Thailand have kind of come into their own in the last few seasons. They made the uh, final, I think, last year. Of, was it was it last year they made the final of the um, Asia section? I can't remember. Uh, no, last year they finished third. Okay, so they were losing semi-finalists. Yeah. But still, good, good team. Yeah, good team. Next up, the runners-up from last year's uh, Asian section, the UAE. 
The United Arab Emirates. Yes, very good team as well. Not to be messed with. But, um, of course, our next team, uh, something special, aren't they? Well, it's Iran. It's the reigning champions. Yeah, the Asia section champions. I wouldn't like to mess with them. It's going to be really difficult to see how um, anyone deals with each other in this game. Yep, indeed. And uh, I have made my quick save. So let's do this. Fiji are the dud team. And they're not in the top half. Screw you! I have quick load. <laughs> see, this is just so much faster now. Look at this, you see. Oh, it's gone again! No, I'll just have to quick load! <laughs> this this video is brought to you by quick load. Oh, it's done it again! Let's quick load! This would, this would take me about 30 minutes altogether with three. Yeah, think of the amount we'd have to cut last time. Hang on a minute. Is it the same one every time? Please oh, don't God. tell me it is. Please don't tell me. I think it is, you know. God damn it! <laughs> hang on, hang on. I can fix this. I wonder if I just change the order around a little bit. That might do it, yeah. Go on. See what happens. That's different! It is different. That is different. It's okay. It's not... It's fine! Everything's fine! It. We will fix this. We will make it happen. No! Please don't! Fine, I'll get rid of three of the bastards then. We'll just move these around. There you go, Jesus. Fiji, show up! What the hell? <laughs> Where are you, uh... Fiji? I'm, I'm putting you at the end. Maybe you're the ones that are cocking this up. Alright, where's Fiji? Go See, all the way down to the bottom. The okay, is, it's still... that's a bit bollocks. That that's bad programming game. I mean, it still would take it would still take longer Thank than you. normally. There we go. Okay, <laughs> it would still take less time than it would normally. Though that's the main. Thing. It would. It would. Right. We know that for future reference. Yep. Well, just just put draw, just put the look... dud team at the bottom. Can we just acknowledge the first game, please? <laughs> oh God, no. It's North versus South Korea for the first game. The winner takes on Japan, so we lose either South Korea or Japan or both. Yeah, a favourite could go here. Well, it's not North Korea. They're not a favourite. Well, like, well, Kim Jong is going to bomb South Korea. Someone's now, getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> I believe I said this in the last uh, did. little trophy, but sod it. North Korea keep losing. They're so close to actually having to pre-qualify instead, so we don't have to deal with this crap anymore. But someone's getting shot. South Korea Someone through, 13-0. Good result for South Korea. A good warm-up game, I think you could say. Yep, uh, but they're going to take on a very, very good Japan. Yeah, I think, again, I've said before, I quite like it when a high-ranked team gets the dirt because it makes it a little bit more fair, if that makes sense. It does Obviously, make it a bit more fair, but then, you know... Uh, Look Remember at Romania when last Guatemala time. Guatemala made it to the Global Trophy Finals. Or Romania last week. Yeah, or Romania. You know, you you, you, you like your shots. You know, you Scotland you beating do. Portugal. Yeah, that kind of thing. You know, they exist. So, Japan, yeah. South Korea, we're going to lose one of them. So, that sucks. It does suck, yeah. Dominican Republic now versus Thailand. Oh, sorry, New Caledonia, New Caledonia versus Caledonia. Thailand. Yep, the first of our pre qualifying uh, preliminary teams. Yep, if you didn't get Fiji. And they're out. Thailand through. That's a, that's a shame, but. Yep, Asian it section happens. semi finalist last time round. Going for it this time Going as well. Going through. Yep, Jordan versus Iraq next. Of course, Jordan, the Australia killers. Well, they're out this time. Iraq yeah, go through. Will. They do. Well done, Iraq. Now it's Bahrain versus Yemen. Tough match this will be for both teams. It's Bahrain. Yemen did all that work to get knocked out in the first round 1-0. This is a big match coming up, though, between Australia and the winners of the preliminaries, Tajikistan. Yeah, it's going to be a big match here for Tajikistan. Australia get the win, though. And they go through to the next round. Tajikistan, hard luck, guys. Yep. Omar now versus Syria. Not an easy one to call this one. Yeah, both teams pretty high in the rankings. Syria get the win. 
Syria do get the win, and we have a clash now of two winners of the Asia section in the past. It's Iran versus Malaysia. Yes, uh, and in fact, Sam, this is a rematch from last year's Global Trophy Asian section quarterfinals. It was oh, wow, Iran so it... that knocked Malaysia out. It was, and of course, Iran the holders, so we'll see if history will repeat itself here. No, it Iran's doesn't. gone! Wow. Iran out. Malaysia go through to set up a, a second round tie with Syria. Good stuff for Malaysia. Iran go home already. First round out go uh, Iran. Afghanistan's next against Kuwait. At the moment, these, pre these preliminary teams aren't doing so well. They have had tough draws, though, to be fair. Yep. Oh, and Afghanistan fall as well. It's a shame for Afghanistan after all that hard work. We thought they were resting players a few weeks ago, but they haven't obviously done so. And Kuwait progressed with ease. Yep, again, they were also quarterfinalists last time around, losing out to Thailand in the quarterfinals there. They're, they're on their way again. Yep, next, next up, up is... Go on. <laughs> it's, it, it's... You say this one, go on. The Kurj Republic against Vietnam. See, now that's not as nearly as funny as the way I do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Thank God they're out. Vietnam, 6-0 victors. Huge result for them. And, and Philippines, the other preliminary hotshots, take on Saudi Arabia. Yep, who we were knocked out by Australia um, in the quarterfinals last time round. Oh, close! But Saudi Arabia do go through the current rank four for a global trophy. Yep, they, they go marching through. Uh, China, Qatar next. Not an easy one to call this one. 4 0 China. Qatar is gone. That's all that money laundering for you. Indeed. They they laundered it to Saudi Arabia instead. That's why they won instead. Ah, uh, makes sense. Makes sense. Next up, Lebanon versus the UAE. I've got to go for a UAE win here. UAE now, if you look at last year's um, Asian qualifiers, highest ranked team left. They're through, though. Yep, and we've got a standoff next. We've got a standoff. It's a it's Uzbekistan versus Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. So we're going to see a stand in the second round at least. We are. But so far, no pre preliminary teams have made it through. I think they've all lost so far. I believe so. Yes. Turkmenistan are the first though to go through. Fair play to Turkmenistan. Great result for them. Knocking out the highly favoured Uzbekistan. Yeah, on penalties as well. Fair yeah. play. On penalties to go through. Myanmar now versus New Zealand. Myanmar clinching that seventh spot versus New Zealand, who barely uh, were able to actually qualify without preliminaries needed. Very true. 4 0 to Myanmar. Uh, uh, sorry, to New Zealand. Myanmar out of there. Gone. Yep. And the last fixture of the round of 32 sees Palestine take on India to face New Zealand. It's India, 3-1. Good result for India, and out go Palestine. So, there's one. Then. Yes. One, one, one preliminary uh, team left in Turkmenistan. They've got the runners-up from last year uh, in the Asian <laughs> section, a, the UAE. It's been a rough draw, hasn't it, for the, uh, for the preliminary teams? It, is it really bit, has. Yeah. Uh, South Korea, Japan first up. We're going to lose a big team here. Yep, the two, t two countries that hosted the 2002 World Cup. Yep. Now at loggerheads, and Japan knocks South Korea out. South Korea out again before the Global Trophy Finals. Japan through uh, to their second consecutive Global Trophy. I'm gutted. I'm gutted for South Korea. Yep, they're gone. Um, Thailand, Iraq next. You've got to favour Thailand here, I think. Yep, Thailand finished third last time around, and they barely made it through again this time. But they're in. That's all that matters. They've made it to, to two game wins and they're through to the Global Trophy Finals. Bahrain now. Can they topple Australia or can Australia go through to yet another Global Trophy Finals? This will be their 16th. Out of 17. Yeah, it's they an, an amazing it. record. Oh, and penalties decides it. Australia through to number 16. Just about. But they did, again, they did what they needed to do and they've done it well. Well done, Australia. So, Japan, Thailand, and Australia through. These are three teams that also made it through last year as well. Can Malaysia join them? Of course, they did make it through last time. Yep. 
They don't Syria through. Good result for Syria, and Syria qualify for the Global Trophy Finals. Yep, Kuwait now. Again, another team that qualified last year versus Vietnam. They didn't, of course, Vietnam, but they have done recently. I think it was a couple of years ago now. Yep. Vietnam through. They've done it again. Well done, Vietnam. Saudi Arabia versus China. Big battle of the superpowers here. Yep, seven Asia section title wins between them. Yep, and Saudi Arabia, again, quarterfinals last time around. China missed out. Wow! Time, Saudi Arabia, go home. Wowee. Top four in the Global Trophy last year, gone. That's a shocker for Saudi Arabia. It really is. They were, they were about to overtake Australia as the highest Global Trophy ranked team. That's not going to happen not, now. It's not happening now, is it? No. Oh, no. dear. They're going to need a couple more years to try and build that back up. China through. UAE, runner-up in the last Asian section versus Turkmenistan. The final preliminary team left in. It'd be quite a story if Turkmenistan made it through, wouldn't it? it certainly would be. And they've well, done it! Well, there you go! Goodness me. UAE go home. That is a shocker. Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. They started so slowly, didn't they? In the, in the preliminaries. Yeah. Wow. New Zealand, India. Can New Zealand go through? They do! New Zealand through! We <laughs> have two, two Oceania, Oceania teams! <laughs> Phenomenal stuff. Look at how many penalty results there were, by the way, there. Oh, bloody... What? What's Six. that? Six. Six? Six? Six out of eight, and the other two were one nil wins only. No, there's five there, mate. But there's six, because you've got Thailand, Australia... Oh, oh no, sorry. You're right. Yeah, Ignore me. I, I... Five. Ignore might... me! <laughs> Ignore me! Well, that is the Cup quarterfinals, and... These are the eight teams making it through from Asia. Japan, Thailand, Australia, Syria, Vietnam, China, Turkmenistan, and New Zealand. It is quite a strong lineup. Um, obviously, you'd probably substitute maybe Syria out for Saudi Arabia, maybe Turkmenistan out for Iran, but it is a strong and team. And New Zealand out for South Korea. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that, that's what I'd say. So they're close. Japan, Thailand first. This is now all about pride and glory. Yep, whoever goes through here can progress to the semi-finals of the Asia section. It's Japan 2-1. And the former winners go through. Australia now versus Syria. Syria have had a great run. They're carrying it on! They've beaten Australia. Goodness me. Australia defeated again. They, have a, they now have not won the Asian section for the last three years. They won three on the bounce, and since then have not won it. Goodness me. Vietnam, China now. I this, think China are probably the favourites here. This opens it up for Japan to win this. It really does. China, 4-0. Can New Zealand progress further than Australia in the Asia section for the first time ever, I believe? I, yeah, that is the first time ever. Can they do it? They have! They have! <laughs> New Zealand have overtaken Australia! What a story for New Zealand! For the first time in global trophy history, New Zealand have progressed further than Australia. What a sh Always the, always the uh, Oceania number two. Not anymore. It's worth, be it's worth being a number two to a number two. Um, but yeah, New Zealand have made it, and they could even go further if they go past China. It's not out of the question, is it? Surely. Yep. Japan, Syria next. Japan for me. It is. Penalties decides it for Japan. Very close. And I think it'll be a big shot for me if New Zealand go through, but it'll be a, quite a story. No, it's, Ch it's China, Japan in the finals. Now, this is a repeat of the 2019 final where China actually ended up winning against Japan. It's not happened this, not time. this time. Japan got the... Japan's got it! And for the first time in 13 years, Japan are the Asia section winners. No, they are the cup winners. Sorry, the cup. The cup. <laughs> the Bloody cup, game. yes. Uh, but with that, folks, Japan, finally, first time in over a decade. Yeah, since 2008, they've always kind of... They've been there or thereabouts, but finally, the, the land of the rising sun 
will take a rising trophy home with them. Yeah, only their second, isn't it? I think. Uh, it is, yeah. So they're yep. now on a two-time winner of yep. the Asia section. But they'll uh, they'll be they'll be representing Asia as the Asia champions, going alongside representing Europe as the European champions, Romania. Still not used to it. <laughs> Nor I, I don't think anyone is. Uh, but with that, folks, we will be seeing Japan, China, Syria, New Zealand, Thailand, uh, Australia, Vietnam, and Turkmenistan. Uh, in the Global Trophy Files, alongside Romania, Spain, Greece, Netherlands, Denmark, France, Italy, and Portugal. It's looking pretty spicy at the moment. I'm enjoying this. It's looking pretty strong. I'm worried about, of all of them, actually, America. Because um, Argentina seemed to get Brazil all the time. I'd like to see both of them go through for a change. Yeah, I mean, if they go through alongside Mexico... And yeah. Africa have, you know, all their main guys go through, you know, like Nigeria, Cameroon, Cameroon, Cameroon Nigeria. Yeah. Um, Senegal, Ghana, Liberia, Tunisia, you know. Then this could be a stacked global trophy final. We haven't had, a, like, a star-studded one for a while, have we? No, there's, there's always been a couple that have been knocked. I mean, yes, we've, we've, we've lost Germany, we've lost Iran, we've lost Saudi Arabia. But this is still a good lineup. So it is far. a very good lineup, there's, and there's a few left field choices out there. You know, obviously Turkmenistan, uh, New Zealand, of course, as well, uh, Romania, Denmark. So far, going through, so it's very open. It is very open. Yeah, I mean, um, with the with the high ranked teams that are in this, there's also all to play for, I'd say. Yep. But with that, folks, that is the end of the Asia and Oceania qualifiers. Our victors are Japan. Let's go back on the screen again for that. Japan are the winners. And we will be seeing you next week for the African qualifiers. Which eight teams are going to be joining the Asian uh, qualifiers and the European qualifiers in the Global Trophy Finals in a couple of weeks? We'll see you for that. Hopefully it's going to be as spicy as this one because this was really good fun. You know, yeah. seeing teams like Australia fall as quick as they did. Yeah, and uh, see uh, Iran get knocked out. Saudi Arabia get knocked out. Yeah, but still, Asia having... A strong showing for the final. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are three former winners of the Asia section going through, so you can't, you can't complain. <laughs> yeah, and New Zealand. Of course. Shockers there. Anyway, we will see you for uh, we'll see you for the Africa qualifiers next week. See, see you then. then. Fair play to New Zealand.